With measles cases popping up in Cook County, we wanted to learn more about the potentially deadly disease. So joining us now to talk about it, Dr. Mary Hayden, Chief of Infectious Diseases at Rush University. Thank you so much for being with us. My pleasure. Is there real concern among the health system and uh, those in the know like yourself about these cases in Cook County? Can you give us some perspective? Uh, well, yes. I mean, measles is a concerning infection because of its contagiousness. I don't know many details about these particular uh, these particular infections, where they might have um, these individuals might have been exposed, um, or whether or not there might be other cases, uh, you know, that we still haven't heard about. Sure. Um, but yeah, it's 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 always a concern. Um, but you know, we know that measles has been increasing across the county, across the country. So uh, it's not terribly unexpected that we would start to see a few cases here in Chicago. Mm -hmm. What do you think the public at large, their their concern level should be? So again, unless you've had um, direct exposure to um, to somebody with measles, you're you shouldn't be terribly concerned. Mm -hmm. Everybody. Um, you know, we, we strongly encourage uh, vaccines, the, the measles vaccine, according to uh, the the um, schedule. It's a childhood vaccine, but mm -hmm. there are some adults who um, perhaps if they were um, vaccinated, say, between 1963 and 1968, when the uh, measles vaccine that was in use wasn't as effective, may um, warrant a, a, a dose of measles vaccine or some adults in um, certain occupations, such as healthcare, for example, who were vaccinated between 1968 and 1989, when we only recommended a single um, a single dose of vaccine of the better, the newer vaccine, mm -hmm. um, those individuals uh, also might want to consult with their primary care physician to um, ask whether or not they might warrant um, a, 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 a single dose of vaccine at this time. Got it. So anybody in that age range, it's good to check back in and, and see if you're somebody who should either uh, get that booster or revaccinated. Doctor, can you uh, remind us what are some of the symptoms to look out for? Sure. Um, the, it can start quite non-specifically. So, um, you know, with uh, fever, maybe just kind of feeling sort of crummy, um, uh, runny nose, uh, uh, maybe a headache. Um, and there are some uh, Kind of spe more specific symptoms that patients might have before they get the rash they might start to get these small white spots um, inside their mouths um, and then after several days of these sorts of symptoms they might start having um, the rash and when they come in with those symptoms how are people treated um, well, if we have somebody who comes in with fever and rash, we, we, will, we will isolate that individual um, just to protect any other patients who might be in the area and then test them usually um, with a uh, swab test or a blood test to try to uh, determine whether or not they um, have measles mm -hmm. or another infection that might cause rash and fever. And quickly, doctor, what can care then look like in that short term? What can care look like? Yes, um, how they're it's, being treated. It's supportive. There's not specific therapy for measles, so it would be things like keeping people hydrated, okay. um, giving them um, Tylenols, for example, for fever um, and for headache. Uh, so it's really um, supportive. We call it supportive therapy. Not there's no specific like antiviral therapy for measles. Sure, good to know. Uh, thank you so um, much, I, Doctor. I, I will oh, say, please. I'm sorry to interrupt you. If if you um, there are some people like if you've been exposed um, and you have no immunity or, you, or you're immunocompromised, there may be other specific things we might do, either um, in certain groups give you a vaccine if it's within three days of exposure before you have symptoms, or give you immunoglobulin, um, so give you the antibodies. Um, uh, there are certain groups who might get that, but that's um, that's yeah, very specific. Right, depending on how they come in and how everybody's doing. It makes a lot of sense, and it's a great uh, refresher for those of us who haven't been talking about the measles uh, much in recent years. Dr. Mary Hayden, thank you so much. Thank you.